Garrus. What's he doing here? Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. A friend Got a little down. tense there. Put a friend down. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. Mm-hmm. We never got to see Caden, because he didn't survive. It would have been nice to work with Ash again, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. I guess it wasn't. I wonder if this is the crew... We got Thane in there. Uh, Morden as well. Caden. I'm, I'm reading it low to top, because that's how my eyes work. Um, yeah, I wonder if these are the crew members that died in the first game mostly because we saved most of the se the ones in the second game i think maybe i think so anyway moving on per your orders i have the latest reports on the council doctor their security is in disarray but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff and it's far too risky after odina's coup postpone those deployments at once Volos Intelligence Archives. The Salarian Special Task Force, capital S, capital T, capital F, appears to have approached the Vol Protector, capital V, capital P, about co-developing co yes, uh, combat implants that require rare elements found in Volos space. The schematics for these implants include plans to retrofit them to non-Salarian species should it be a sufficiently profitable venture. One of these upgrades could be commissioned, although its construction would be time-consuming, and must be custom made. Uh, and that is basically we get health or power damage. Uh, honestly, I don't really need power damage at all. Because uh, I, it's fine. Whatever. So health it is. Not that I need health either. Shields would, it's, it's what I want. Because health requires requires um, med kits to replenish, which is a bummer. And over here we have an audio recording, which isn't an audio recording. From the counselor or counselor Goodyear's Senate office, and it isn't audio because it's all in text. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here, not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They say uh, they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here, this is uh, is this a Basky, sir, and uh, and an inventory, Phillips. I am authorizing you on behalf of the city's senate to seize any and all ESO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure a safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles, senate members' stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships, yes, sir. And I'm skipping who says what because, uh, the, I, well, I knew in a, in a, I sort of figured in advance that it actually doesn't matter. The who says what? It, it doesn't matter that this is an audio recording. It's it's just annoying to read, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and read it like that. May I speak with you, Commander? Mm-hmm. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. What is wrong with the camera? We help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. We'll see. The trade would benefit both parties. If you decide to, the man to speak with is Tactus. He can be found near the Citadel docks. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. You should increase the effectiveness of the game camera, because I don't know what that was all about, but uh, sure, sure, we'll do that. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Perfect. So, talk to everybody. 
let's go back to, or down to level four. And level four is the annoying level. No, no it isn't. Now, the Citadel in flames, a brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. We speak with the woman who fought on the front lines, Commander Shepard. How did Cerberus get in? Where was the Citadel fleet? Find out in a battle space exclusive. Commander. Mm-hmm. I always interrupt the recordings. Always. It's a good thing they have they have good noise suppression on their microphones, otherwise just footsteps all over. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Uh... I don't get why you would say that last sentence. Why would the other races... Oh, wait a minute. What he's trying to say is that he sets... He sets a bad... Uh, it, it looks bad as the face of humanity. That's what he's trying to say. Hello, Commander. Hello. That's why, he, like, they, they're they gonna see the humans as bad because Udina is bad. That's what he's trying to say. He didn't say that, though. Hey, Commander. Hey, I knew up? Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. So war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. Shouldn't it be this whole war is loca? I'm not, I'm not uh, aware of the particular particularities of Spanish as spoken by uh, Spanish Americans. Well, I guess not Spanish Americans, Latin Americans. But... Uh, the Commander Admiral Anderson is available in the war room. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but, yeah, war is feminine, so it'd be loca. But maybe loco has just a different meaning. He does pronounce it in a very English way. It doesn't, doesn't, you know, pronounce it in the Spanish way, or at least to my ears, anyway. Commander? Mm-hmm. Let's check my email before I go to the war room. Nothing here. Okay. War room it is. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I'm glad it's having an effect, but so far, hope hasn't been the thing winning this war. It's been blood, sweat, and more blood. But a lot of these resistance fighters were just farmers and teachers a few weeks ago. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening. Ontario. London, Ontario. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And it's enough. What he's trying to say, I think, is that Kai Lang is the final boss of the game. Because they couldn't have us fight another re or a fight a Reaper in the first. What is he trying to say with Kai Lang? I don't know. You know, from a pra practical standpoint, I mean. Either way, let's explore spl is space, not space, um, before we before we go back to the Citadel. Finally do the thing I set out to do a while back. Hmm. There's actually a few side quests out here. 
besides the main quest over there. Cerberus Fighter Base. Let's go in there. Ooh. And we got skills. Incinerate. Damage to armored opponents. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we got four points. Let's see. Sabotage. Compromise synthetics fight on your side. That sounds like an interesting time. There's a duration to it. Yeah. And then ED over here. Unshackled AI. Health and shield bonus, please. Weapon damage, please. But not right now. Apparently, we're only going to get one of those warp ammo. Squad mates gain warp ammo. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Why'd you have to drop? You'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. They've seen us. They have. Why do they have to drop me from so so high all the time? You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Chunks. Okay, that guy doesn't want to fight. I, it, this, one, this one does. Some ammo back here. Okay, let's get out of there. In real life, this distance would get us killed. Grenades are very powerful. But in video games, grenades are like rockets. Dumb and bad. Rockets in video games are, are also slow and ineffectual. Uh, there. Nope. Seriously? Can you not... Can you move normally? Jesus Christ, these guys. And then they do stuff like this. Okay, the flank has been established. They cannot hear our footsteps or see us. Yeah, I don't need headshots, but I would like headshots. I mean, I enjoy the headshots because of chunks. Oh, there they are. That's That was a good shot right there. If I do so myself, and I do. They're taking a nap. It is really stupid the way the AI works. I, I complain about it because it uh, bothers me from from my aiming, but the the like it doesn't make any sense that they work like that. Hiding behind, hiding behind cover for a designated amount of time, only to pop up like they are popping up and just walking around. Like what they're doing, it doesn't make any sense. It would make sense if they had taken damage at all and were like recovering shields, but I don't think they recovered shields. But even then, it doesn't matter if they do or not. But they, they haven't taken a shot. So, it's just AI being AI. It's just video games drawing from Space Invaders back in the day. And having very pre-designed pre movement patterns. Enemies neutralized, Shepard. Looks like we found the control center. And money. This'll take a while. Damn it. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. I don't know who's best for this. Does it matter? Uh, Edie. Edie, front and center. 
As you command. Because I need Liara's stuff. Commander, you're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown. Stay safe. Outside communications are no longer possible, Shepard. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. This is kind of bad. Oh, hi. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Yep. That guy just is not going down. Make him fly. There we go. Oh, hi. I'm very sorry. Okay. Yeah. Liara is a good, uh... Is a good, a good thing. Um, all on base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols have been successful. And she's down again, but we don't worry about that. Because... We have other things to worry about. Then this is also chunks. Got some money here. Not knowing where they're coming from is quite upsetting. Not knowing where they are is even more upsetting. They're nowhere. System deactivation prioritized. Awaiting shutdown command. Shepard, it appears that shutdown requires the synchronous command. Oh, that's what okay. Defense system deactivated. General order seven slash seven triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. And that's where we need to go. Not manual defenses. Anybody but manual. Oh. Okay. I think it's going to be sniper time. Chunks. Okay, make that guy fly. I think you're gonna be fine. There was somebody back there. You guys are not gonna be fine. There you are. Chunks! There you are. Oh, missed! Fly. Didn't fly. Oh, because Liar is out. Chunks. This scope is quite, quite in there, I must admit. I could use a, a smaller scope. Uh, it doesn't allow, because it doesn't allow for snap reactions. Like you can't like see somebody over there and then just like, tow, which is how shooters work. It's all timing based. Apparently, that's not part of you. Okay. Right? Just using the turret to, uh, to find out, to find out where they are. I'll get there. Cortez here. We're trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. 
Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Ship, not look out. Oh no, not you got. Oh no, not armed response. Oh that that actually that's a that sucks. I don't know if he's shooting rockets at me. That looks like it is. Does it actually fire from behind the, the smoke? Because I remember the smoke being a terrible implement for this thing. Because you can clearly see it. Now the deck is clear, Shepard. Anyone wounded? Only minor injuries. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. He didn't come in. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Not thank you, sir. Renegade in his face. Renegade in his face. Dang it. Oh, well. We got money. Let's uh, see what other side quests we have. That was... That, that was... That was kind of cringe. Tell your team they did good. Congratulations. Good My boy. Buddy got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. At 6? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it, too. He fought it. Said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Commander? Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Hello, Shepard. Mm-hmm. Also, do people say things? You've got new messages, Commander. Do I? Commander. Let's check those messages, then. Getting away from work. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come to see me next time we dock on the Citadel from Liara. And, uh... Shepard, this is Garrus. I thought next time we were at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested. And found something here, Miranda. I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back to the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point. You are not going to do that. The game doesn't support that. Uh, feature. Um, my sister, this is from Ashley, got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what she's going to put on the wall. It's nice. I wish I could do something to make this easier for her. She wants me to say something about our family. I know we're, you're busy, but it would mean a lot if you could, could be there. I will! So it turns out we're going back to the Citadel before we continue with signed missions. Okay. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed, no lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? It's... It, there's nothing funny. Uh, um, un unless it's supposed to be a homophobic joke. I don't know if there, uh, there is... Uh, but uh, it's a it's a it's a gay it's a gay thing, I think. So I don't I don't know what the joke is. Hey, Commander. But where were they talking from? 
That was that felt like the conversation was in my ears. It was weird. Oh, you're here. You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. I might. That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Kodiak. All you did was drop them off and bug her out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. Is everything okay, Shepard? Yeah, not my knees though, because you dropped me from some so high. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seriously, they just drop her from, like, it's nothing. It's just, ah, well, whatever. It's called the drop, isn't it? So fuck you. Gabi, have you ever seen recordings of Liara's mother, Matriarch Benezia? She has boobs. It's boobs. Remember Samara, the Asari Justica? With boobs. With this, it definitely is boobs. Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Oh, it's with they hips. They just keep growing. Kenneth. Is it boobs? I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. Yeah, sounds about right. Shepard. My board is green. It was boobs, I think. Ample, though, it can be misunderstood. What are you talking about? Is it, it could be hips? Or, or thighs? Huh. Or ass? Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Yeah, we're not shipping anywhere anytime soon. Well, we, uh, we do go to the Citadel and stuff, so. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Yeah, to have the conversation of you getting out of the ship for whatever reason. I get the impression I'm supposed to have a reason to kick her out. And uh, I don't know what it is. 